pet relief area. Martin's a pet. Hey, hey, welcome back. I'm super, super, super excited today. Martin is too. He's actually in the house right up there. Why am I excited? Do you see this rainy windshield? It is so gross. It's like 54 degrees here and kind of chilly. But today, our son Shelton is driving Martin and I to the airport this morning and we are hopping on a plane to head up to Seattle. From there, we fly into Tennessee. We are gonna be there for nine days. We're gonna stop in Franklin, Knoxville to see the last Need to Breathe concert. We'll be flying into Nashville uh, later tonight and it is going to be 90 degrees. I checked the temperature for when we land, which is almost midnight their time, and it's going to be 78 degrees. So I'm bundled up in a sweatshirt. I have my cozy pants on. Makes uh, traveling at the airport easier because I can stick my wallet and my phone. Easy to pull stuff out. But we are going to take off and we're going to take you along with us. <music> decided not to take a real Uber. We have Shelton driving us today. Yep, that's right. He uh, decided to skip school this morning so he could take us uh, over to the airport because we don't want to pay that $12 a day to park here since we're going to be gone so long. So he's dropping us off curbside and he will pick us up on the tail end of things on uh, two Saturdays from now. So we are looking for Alaska Airlines and we are going to get out and say goodbye to Shelton and get on our plane. All right, we're out of here. Love you. I'm a big hug. Love you, Shell. All right, here we go. Bye. Drive safe. See you on a month. Tennessee, here we come. Well, first stop, Seattle. We just got through security. Every time we go through security, I swear, they have to check Martin out, check his ankles, all the stuff. I've never had the pleasure of having that happen, so thankfully it's always Martin. I think we have about an hour before we board our first plane. We head up to Seattle. Once we're there, we have about three hours. So today's vlog is gonna be a lot of traveling. By the time we get into Tennessee tonight, it's gonna be 11.59 their time which is 9.59 our time so two hours ahead. they're two hours ahead it's gonna feel like a really long time so not a lot of action going on but we will show you all the little airport antics along the way so here we go even left Portland and I found the first thing I have to buy. Check out this cool t-shirt and book. We're about ready to leave Portland to head up to Seattle and it is super rainy and gross and I bet it's going to be rainy up in Seattle too. Next stop is to find a bathroom. Martin said he's really got to go. Oh yes, he's the been holding that coffee from 150 miles ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then we are gonna go uh, find something to eat. We have a couple hours of being here, um, and then we have another four-hour flight. We get in to Nashville just before midnight, which is really two hours earlier, so just before 10 o'clock our time. 
So it sounds like a long day, but it's not really as long. The flight was great. It was fun to see. Even though it was pretty cloudy when we were up there, you could still see the mountaintops through there, which I just love, Mount St. Helens and Mount Rainier. It's really cool to see. Shelton loves those um, pops. I don't even know what they're called. I think they're called pops. There's a whole bunch of them in here, so I thought it would be fun to pop in here real quick on our way to try to find something to eat so he can see these. Can we keep him? He's so tood. Dungeness Bay Seafood House. We just had to take a crazy underground tram. I'm very claustrophobic. And Martin was telling me, oh my gosh, we're way under, way hundreds under of, the ground. Hundreds of feet. Yes. He's showing us on the Life360 app, like we're under the tarmac part of the airport. I'm like <laughs> freaking out. So we're gonna grab a bite to eat here and then we're gonna have to ride that crazy tram thing underground back over there. I'm glad Martin is here because it was challenging. There's, it's kind of a confusing system. We just finished up um, lunch. It was really good. I think I mentioned that earlier. Now we have about a four hour flight. I think we have about 30 minutes until we're gonna board. We are still quite a ways away from our gate. Martin wanted to come up here. There is a um, flight going to, we didn't even know where it was. We had to look it up. It's Doha, D-O-H-A. It is a huge, huge, huge plane. And for those of you that know, maybe you don't know, Martin is like over the top excited about big planes. So he insisted that we come up here and hang out for a little bit so we could, we could see this plane. I'll show you here. It's really not gonna be a good representation of the plane. It's right over there. It is huge. The landing gear wheels are three by three configuration. Martin was looking up images on Google and it looks like it can hold a lot of people. We have been up since about five o'clock in the morning. It's approaching five o'clock here, our time. We're already feeling tired. I don't know why. We've only had one flight and the flight itself was only 30 minutes. But somehow when you travel, traveling just it takes it out of you. So we are gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we are gonna head on over, take the tram back and get back over to our gate so we can board our last flight to Nashville. Pet relief area. Uh, next time we see you, we'll be touching down in Nashville. It's gonna be dark and we are gonna look tired. We're gonna try to catch a little nap on the plane. I don't know why doing a lot of nothing is so exhausting. It just is, but we'll see you in a second. It'll feel like a second for you, not for us. go get our suitcase we're, we're gonna hop on an uber and hopefully in about 30 minutes or so we'll be at the or uh the b airbnb yay and yes it's like midnight 30.
We are crazy, crazy tired. <laughs> we just got off the Uber. There's our house right there. <clears throat> we are gonna go up and get ourselves uh, into the house and then we're probably gonna pick it up in the morning. Like I said, it's a big, long day of travel. Um, we're exhausted and we are gonna call it a night, but we can't wait to show you this cute little house tomorrow. I think we have about an hour before we, bur bleh, before we board our first plane.